On today's Keeping It Real, Cam Marston tells us about some comments an economist made at a recent conference and how those comments got his mind spinning. An economist at a recent conference offered some interesting content. First, 10% of the nation's top earners only spend 70% of their income. They save 30%. That's not bad. I wish I were one. Second, the remaining 90% of earners spend, are you ready for this, 101% of their earnings. They're slowly building debt, spending more than they have. The economist was discussing efforts by some politicians to stimulate spending. The politicians' arguments are, simply put, we'll avoid the next recession if we, as a society, spend more. So let's reduce interest rates and free up money, which will motivate people to spend more. If the next recession is right around the corner, this spending will keep it at bay, even at the cost of 90% of the nation taking on more personal debt. The economists went on to observe how the top 10% of people who earn the most want less stuff, and the bottom 90% of earners want more stuff than they can afford. There's a lesson here, and if you know me well, you'll know that I'm a hypocrite of this very lesson. What is that lesson? Want what you have don't want what you don't have. Lots of happiness can be found in not wanting stuff. Comparing what you have to those who have more is always a losing game, always, whether it be homes or cars or relationships. And Teddy Roosevelt said it best, comparison is the thief of joy. Want what you have. And in some sort of cosmic reckoning or something, those who want what they have tend to get more of what they want. Meaningful connections, close family, close friends, a genuine fondness for people, and a genuine fondness from people. When wealthy people die, people often ask, how much did they leave? The answer, of course, is everything. For lots of folks whose focus has always been on accumulation, on wanting what they don't have, the better answer for them is they didn't leave it. They were taken away from it. Theirs is a life about stuff. Now, historically, I accumulate. I've got stuff. i got more than I need. However, I've begun to change that very slowly. It requires effort and energy, and I'm stressed for time these days. And it's easier to stick something in a closet and keep it there than decide if I want it or not. But here's what I do have that I know. I have work that I mostly enjoy and that pays the bills. i got a cool wife and some cool kids. i got great friends. i got a wonderfully supportive family. Shouldn't that be enough? Shouldn't it? The absurdity of all this is there are people in positions of influence who feel like that people like you and me taking on more personal debt is best for each of us and our economy. Now, I'm no economist, but that makes no sense to me. The moral? Want what you have. Forget the dang economy. It'll take care of itself. I'm Kim Marston, and I'm just trying to keep it real. To hear more of Cam Marston's commentaries, search for Keeping It Real on your favorite podcast app or find them on Facebook. 